Hello everyone, welcome to another video. In this video, I will show you which one is better, Figma versus Adobe Illustrator. Now on the left side, you can see Adobe Illustrator. We have 4.8 points. And on the right side, we can see Figma, which we have 4.7 points, right? So these are a pretty tight numbers right here, as you can see. Now, obviously, uh, you know, each of those are a, a vector programs, right? Uh, now platform supported, you know, both of those have web-based iPhone app and Android app as well. Now both of those typical customers are freelancers and small to mid-sized businesses as well as large enterprises. And both of them have great customer support except Figma does not have phone customer support. Now when we compare the pricing, Figma starts at $12 per user. It also has free account which is awesome while Adobe Illustrator does not have a free trial available. Uh, I don't think they have currently. Um, and yeah, this is a great price point if you want to, you know, start in Figma. I think Figma wins the price point here because obviously Adobe Illustrator is a lot more on an expensive side. Now, when it comes to kind of, uh, you know, which one of these platforms is simpler to use or easier to use. I would say Adobe Illustrator is a bit easier to use than Figma. Figma, you know, you need to be a more tech savvy, but Figma on the other hand has a lot of plugins that you can add into the Figma, which is awesome. Now here are some of the pros. So Figma is an excellent user-friendly application, right? For UI design, absolutely free, right? You can start it with absolutely free. You know, best thing is that you can easily collaborate and prototype using Figma. Now, again, Figma, you know, it, it gets much clearer and better wireframes and prototypes with extra great plugins, as I said, right? Plugins are great. And then Figma is also super simple to get started with, but it's packed with tons of features, um, you know, that you have pretty much. On the left side, we have obviously pros, you know, Adobe Illustrator is, it's really easy to use software, right? It has a lot of features. Um, you know, you can use it with Mac, you can use it with a lot of different, um, you know, um, you know, PC and Mac, right? And you're able to make really beautiful and stunning illustrations, right? Now, the cons, you know, Adobe is that you can no longer purchase the software as a one-off. This is a big con and, uh, you know, the most frustration comes with user error and not doing enough research on the current subject and on rare occasions, the app will stall or close down. So what I would say here is Adobe Illustrator is a bigger, bigger, um, you know, software and Figma is a lightweight software. So it works much quicker and much easier. So again, here designers had to read the documentation because there's painful misuse of the software in terms of poorly understanding the concepts, right? Undoubtedly their learning curve, again, learning curve on each of these softwares is going to be, you know, a lot. And again, the way the comment commenting works is hard to keep track of what comments you should be keeping track of and what you, you can ignore. So what I would say here, my personally, uh, I, I use both of these softwares, by the way, and my personal take on these softwares is that Figma is a bit better because it's lightweight. Uh, it has great support, I would say. Uh, you need to learn it, of course. You need to also learn Adobe Illustrator. Uh, but it's much more sustainable in a way that you can, as a freelancer, you can afford it, right? It's free. It also has $12 per month plan. While on the other hand, Adobe, you cannot purchase it um, just as an Adobe Illustrator. You need to purchase Adobe Suite, right? Because I don't know why they're, with, why, why are they doing this? But yeah, that's basically how it works. And then, you know, it's also you know, it's also not that lightweight as Figma, so it can crash uh, potentially. And on Figma, you can use it on your uh, Google Chrome, right? And you can use it on the web. So I think Figma wins this, um, you know, this comparison. Um, let me know down in the comments below, what do you think? Figma versus Adobe Illustrator, which one is better and why? I would love to see other people, what they say and why they say it as well. So thank you guys for watching and we'll see you in the next video.